What is up everybody, it's your boy Krennic here and welcome after a long break back into Call of Cthulhu gonna continue our adventure in chapter 8, I know it says chapter 7 but again we'll catch up to that, let's have some fun and let's crack on with it all the social media are in the description down below and thank you so much for your support i really appreciate the fact that you are enjoying a uh, cold war series i really appreciate it so there will be more content coming out about uh, call of duty cold war pretty soon right now we're just gonna enjoy and continue our horror adventure enter madness man's condition is deteriorating. What says Dr. Fuller? It's his patient, after all. He... he's busy with Captain Fitzroy. He specifically asked us not to bother him when that's the case. Oh, of course. I'll see what I can do. Mr. Blake, can you hear me? I'm Dr. Colden. We'll take care of you. There's nothing we can do. I tried talking to him. He's catatonic. Uh, call Dr. Fuller, examine the patient, he has been drugged. Uh, let's examine. Very well, I'll examine him. Okay, let's examine the patient, medicine. His skin shows abnormal loss of color and seems dried out. He's totally dehydrated. Okay, I think we just have to go through all of these. Something in his belly. Examine his abdomen. It would seem there's something inside. He hasn't eaten in days. Are you certain it's not an edema? No. Can't you recognize an edema? Pushing with your finger won't leave a trace. And look at these bumps. <laughs> it's not like he could be pregnant. Whatever it is, this man has something inside him that shouldn't be there. We should operate on him at once. Dr. Fuller said not to worry, that the edema would go away by itself. Uh, administration, that could be something. Mm, his office, where the hell is gonna be his office though? I have little time for you, doctor. You'll find out that it's not only the doctors who have things to do. Wait a minute, where do you think you're going? Ooh, is that where his office is? Dr. Colden. Mrs. Donovan. Nobody goes into Dr. Fuller's office. Okay, we found it. Rest assured, I'll tell him you came by. That won't be necessary. Thank you. I will tell him, nonetheless. Okay, we need to distract her. Seems like she... She is sort of protecting the entrance to the office. So you have a secondary objective, is to distract her. How do we do that? Hmm, I'm taking care of this guy. What's... What's this medicine? An unknown medicine. Judging by the other ones, it causes heavy side effects. Probably does, yeah. Do we have anything in here? Let's have a look in here. Do we have anything here whatsoever? We have something on the board. Let's have a look at it. The key to the boiler room is missing. The key to the boiler Dr. room? Dr. Fuller always keeps his key with him. Okay. I don't, I don't know whether this is a relevant to what we are actually looking for. Let's talk to you. Elizabeth, you all right? Why is this room in such a state? Because as always, I'm cleaning it by myself. And the water was once again shut off this morning. I had to bother Mrs. Donovan again, giving her a new excuse to belittle me. Uh, hang in there. Don't let that witch sap your morale. We're lacking in qualified personnel and she knows it. Her petty punishments won't last forever. Okay, our secondary objective is to cut off water. Boiler room is definitely where we have to go. Thing is though, I'm not entirely sure how to get in there. Even though we know where it is. Or at least I thought where it is before I lost it. I am just trying to look around as much as I can, but I cannot see anything. Let's go back find the boiler room. Maybe there is something I actually missed out. Alright, here's something we haven't been before. We've got some drawers. And we have a key! Alright. 
The key to the boiler room. The key to the boiler room. Took me a while to find to it. All I have shut off the water and hope Donovan takes the bait. All right, now again, where is the boiler room? Oh, where is the boiler room? Boiler room was here somewhere. I think next to some guys. Oh no, it was next to this guy. Okay, so we got it. Let's go in. Ooh, this looks complex. I cut off the water. I think that's it. Come on. Come on. I can't shut this with my bare hands. I need a tool. And now we looking for a tool. Are you actually kidding me? Find a tool. No, okay, so I've been walking around this place for absolutely ages. Storage. Let's have a look in the storage, like... I don't see where, where else I can go, really. Could you please just finish your job? You have finished your job. Okay, so now... Okay, we've got a clue here somewhere. Uh, let's just have a look. There we go. We got a wrench. Easy stuff. Alright, let's go. There. Did it work? About it worked. But I need the diversion. Okay, so has it been done? Go back to Elizabeth. Okay, so we need to get back to this large room. Alright, we're here. Elizabeth, hello there. It's temperamental, if I understand correctly. That's not what I want. Elizabeth, hello Dr. there. Dr. Colden, might there be a problem with the water? I was about to mention it. It seems it's been cut off yet again. I can't take this, Marie. I feel I'm gonna burst. It's not your fault if we have defective plumbing. And yet, I'm the one who gets punished because I'm gonna have to square off with that annoying old witch. Courage, Elizabeth. Here we go. And hold your tongue this time. Oh, why are we using Elizabeth to do it? She seems nice. All right, we're in. Last, the missing files must be hidden here. All right, let's have a look. Can we look in the drawers? Not really. Just search, search the office. Fine, seems easy enough. We haven't really got anything. We have another door. We have a locker, but I don't think this is really important right now. This seems to be empty. That's his chair, but not much about the files here. Let's keep going. Locked. Okay, there must be something in here then. There we go. Here's something here. The Stendhal syndrome. Of course. This is where Fuller found his diagnosis for Francis Sanders. All right. Interesting. Item update, psychological study. Uh, anything else in this room? Can we open this yet? Not yet. I feel like we can open this once we actually get enough information in here. Oh, we got a ship. Something is wrong with these masts. It's some sort of puzzle. Oh, okay. So we need to like realign them. The way they should be facing. Okay. Uh, change mast. Oh, no, it's that kind of puzzle. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Oh, I don't, li I don't like this puzzle. Because this is right. The middle one's right. But the other ones are wrong. How about I do it that way? That way. I've unlocked I got it. I got it. Patient files. I was right. A cylinder. The Sarah Hawkins interview. That's what we need. And we got ourselves a device right here, so let's have a listen. Conclusions. Session number 17. Entry. Sarah Hawkins. The patient appears to have finally accepted the illusory nature of what she calls illusions. Okay, let's keep listening. I feel like we need to look for something. There we go, medicine. A finger. This finger belonged to a woman. Why keep it here? Oh, a finger. 
could it be Sarah Hawkins? Let's see. Uh, let's see around. I don't see anything. Got Why does file. Why write psychological reports about Sarah Hawkins? So, I presume that her blood was taken. Okay. So now we just listen. Listen to the file. He obviously did research on it. We have some bottles. The poor souls downstairs are not Fuller's only subjects. Okay. Um, Dennis Kelly, I'm late, but Charles was keeping secrets from me. Here, what do we have here? A shoe. Of course. Sarah Hawkins is the connection. It belonged to her. Leave a, leave a reconstruction. I never can say this word right. I must go back to the basement. But we're gonna do that in another episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching this part of Call of Cthulhu. If you'd like to see more, guys, please leave me a like, subscribe if you want to see more, and all the social media are as always in the description down below. More Counter Strike coming soon. I know people were complaining about me because Counter Strike isn't on again. I'll try my best to get back to Counter Strike as soon as possible. I'm Krennic, and may the force be with you.